Phones are getting faster and more advanced by the day. Faster processors, faster GPUs, lots of RAM, super fast storage and continuous innovation with cameras and displays. Our phones at least hardware-wise potentially are capable of acting as a laptop replacement for most tasks. However, let's be real, are manufacturers really taking advantage of this hardware? Are software developers developing proper apps to take advantage of this hardware? And are we as power users demanding real pro-grade features to take advantage of our powerful phones? Nope. Most of the time what I see on YouTube is how is the gaming performance of a phone, how many FPS can the phone sustain in hot dropping in PGMI or PUBG, how many FPS does the phone sustain in Genshin Impact, etc. I get it, mobile gaming is insanely popular and gaming is the hardest activity we do on our phones. But guys, what I'm about to show you will blow your mind and you realize how much potential our phones pack. Hey guys, Diptesh here and welcome back to the channel. First of all, thanks to all the subscribers, we have crossed the 150 subscriber mark and we are fast approaching to 200 subscriber mark. Thank you so much for your support. And also thanks for all the positive responses on my S20 FE 5G video review. And to those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then come on guys, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Alright, so this is the S20 FE 5G and one of the most unique features of this phone especially under the 40,000 rupees price tag is that this phone comes with a proper USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 1 port which supports the DisplayPort protocol also known as Display Alt in this case. This allows you to connect this phone to any external monitor up to resolutions 3440x1440p ultra wide at 60Hz. This provides you with a large canvas for all your apps for true PC-like multitasking experience. All the apps that you use on your phone that is cramped on a small screen that hinders your productivity, now they can spread over a large canvas that improves your you know, multitasking experience, that improves your productivity and gives you the enjoyment and power of full window-based multitasking. Samsung further improves the experience with their full-fledged desktop UI called Samsung DeX which you probably know already about the video title says that and it's a really amazing feature and one of the reasons to purchase these phones if you use a laptop for regular productivity usage browsing the web watching videos taking video calls etc this functionality through Dex might be enough for a lot of people I mean if you're a school teacher and work with Google ecosystem of web apps then this solution is fantastic performance is great there is no lag, apps open very fast, multi-window management is just like a PC with shortcuts to snap windows to the left and right, all tab support to switch between apps and a taskbar that can be auto-hidden. Copy pasting also works just fine. You can also access the camera of your phone which by the way has much better quality compared to many dedicated webcams and so you can use this setup for seamless video calls. You just need a height adjustable stand. Not all apps are well optimized for a large screen but most apps just work fine for window use. For web browsing, I recommend using the Samsung Internet Browser as it is well optimized for Dex like performance itself is great. Websites default to their PC versions. You can also create two instances of the browser to see two tabs side by side and the browser itself is highly customizable. Now since the connection itself is a high speed wired connection via HDMI, this makes your phone a great device for home entertainment use. You can use all your video streaming apps or videos stored locally on your phone on the big screen without any latency. Same for games if you intend to play with a controller. These high-end Snapdragon phones are great for emulation gaming. You can easily emulate consoles like PSP and even some PS2 games. Other phones with the same hardware can do this too, but most phones in this range cannot do display out. So this phone being able to connect to an external monitor provides with a great emulation gaming experience. Guys, LumaFusion, an almost amateur level video editing app, is about to be released for Android and Chrome OS. This is a great news. As now you have a phone with a great camera system to record your content on, you can then connect your phone to a monitor and launch something like LumaVision to edit your videos all on a smartphone. How cool is that? Well, what I'm gonna say next will blow your mind. You see, no matter how you know amazing the capability of your current phone is, how powerful is its hardware, it doesn't matter because we are always held back by the software. Let's say you are a student and you want to write some code uh, or you want to use some professional grade apps. Now, those are few and far limited on Android, even on iOS or iPadOS. You won't find full-fledged IDs on Android or iPadOS. So, in order to mitigate this situation or, you know, overcome this uh, drawback or limitation, what you can do is you can emulate Linux on your Android phone. Now, believe it or not, 
a few years ago samsung really had an awesome one click tailor made pre configured build of ubuntu that you could run on dex via the linux on dex software however the project has sadly been discontinued since android 10 however it is still possible to emulate linux on your android phone fairly easily through termux p root environment this coupled with the fact that the S20 FE 5G can connect to any external monitor means this phone can basically act in as a simple laptop replacement that you carry in your pocket. How cool is that? Check this out. I'm able to use a full-fledged ARM version of Ubuntu XFCE. This is Firefox, the full PC version with full support for extensions and developer options. This is GIMP, a pretty sophisticated photo manipulation app quite like Photoshop. Want to write some code? Check out VS Code, again with full support for extensions, there's PyCharm too. This Linux emulation provides you with endless possibilities. It's also great for students to familiarize themselves with Linux and use their phones as a coding machine by just plugging it into a monitor or simply a TV. Alright, not everything is perfect though, in fact far from it. As we are running Linux in pROOT which doesn't give us access to the real hardware of your phone. So everything is running on software. We are basically emulating Linux. We don't have kernel based virtual machine support yet on Android and so you'll find animations in Linux a bit choppy, especially scrolling or playing back video through VLC. So please don't try doing something insane like running Blender on your phone. However, for static work like say writing some code, you won't find too many issues and having 8GB of RAM on your phone helps out a lot when opening more than two apps in Linux. Now Android 13 is set to bring support for KVM through what they're calling as PKVM, which can be used to run ARM versions of desktop OSs almost at native speed. As in Android 13, you can take advantage of your phone's hardware like the GPU while running your favorite VM. This is amazing news. I can't wait for Android 13. So I guess what I want to convey through this video is that basically, you know, two points. One, the S20 FE 5G is a lot more than it looks like. And it proves my point why this is one of the, probably not one of the, I would say this is the best all-rounder under 40,000 rupees. And the other fact is a much broader one and, and that is our phones are much more than just phones. They have a lot of power untapped and they are like, what to say, uh, begging to be taken advantage of. Uh, I want manufacturers to promote features like DEX and video out through Type-C, seriously. Uh, there is no point of having a type c port you know if it doesn't support the full speed at least it should have a usb 3.2 and uh, it's even better if it supports a display port protocol i mean phones costing over 35,000, 30,000 rupees should have this feature i believe it uh, and i want uh, manufacturers to promote these types of features features like dex which genuinely improve the productivity of your phone productivity of the person and I want to like talk to Samsung itself. Come on, Samsung, like you have such an awesome feature called Samsung Dex and you don't promote this feature actively. I think it's much better to promote features like this than just promoting uh, the processor your phone packs, how much RAM the phone has or how many megapixels the camera has. I think manufacturers should promote much productivity oriented features and less on gimmicks. Because I believe one day we can reach that uh, point when our phones can completely replace our at least our laptops let's let's not go to desktops uh, but I, I believe our phones can properly replace our laptops for most most tasks so samsung please promote features like dex on your advertisements because if you don't let people know about it people will not use them right and uh, like you abandoned linux on dex i hope you don't abandon dex because it's such an awesome feature and i want you to bring DEX to the lower end phones as well like from A series and M series. It will really do a people a lot of good. That's all guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button and do let me know your thoughts on whether you use Samsung DEX or not. Or after seeing this video, are you planning to try Samsung DEX or not on your tablets or on your phones? So yeah guys, those who haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then please consider subscribing and also on notification. A lot more videos are coming and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Peace out.